Hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thanks for watching my other video about SSEM tutorial. So where you was learn about how we can install SSEM database, SQL database, SSEM console and the few other roles like the MP installation, reporting, fallback status and the SSEM console installation. So now this video is about how we can install our the distribution point on the remote side so like if you uh, already install your SSEM server and you want to create your one more DP on the another server so how you can install okay so guys before this video if you have not watched my video how we can install management point so please watch this video because both are linked and uh, it's uh, very important to understand how we can install distribution point okay so before that just i i would like to explain you what is the distribution point so distribution point is where the all the packages will be copied from sscm to distribution point okay why we are doing this to reduce the network bandwidth suppose one package is a 100 mb and uh, we have the thousand machine if the thousand machines all are connected to sscm and we have only the one dp which is uh, pointing to our main SSEM only so thousand machines will communicate to the SSEM DP which is the uh, same server only and it will get the update and what we'll do if we if we created a one distribution point on their the local subnet so uh, package will copy from SSEM to distribution point and from their local subnet so there is in this scenario 100 MB only uh, data will consume and the local the distribution point from distribution point client will get the update so reducing the our bandwidth we are using the distribution point okay so let's uh, start this video if you need something more i will explain when i will be explaining the um, about the features so it's still i am uh, installing my lab and uh, i would like to show how we can build our lab and that's why i created a one one video for all the steps so here is you can see in it like I have the sites so it's a primary sites it's the BLR site code and the secondary site is my the SS1 okay so now I will install the my distribution point here is a uh, my site where is the remote already I remotely I installed the MP management point already I installed and on the same DP uh, on the same server I will install the distribution point okay if you want to install in a separate server so you can watch my the uh, MP MP installation video there you no need to select the MP and just select the distribution point so distribution point will be creating okay so now here I will add the roles where already my the site component is yes component server is installed and the site server already there so let me add the distribution point here so right click here I will show you okay how to do it let me close it once dp add site system roles okay so uh, these entry already by default it's taken because site server is already installed there and I am adding a role on the top of, of site server you click on next and here is uh, I don't have the internet client internet base infra here click on next and here we can search the distribution point select the distribution point and click on next and here is uh, a distribution point contain the source and the client to download okay so uh, I don't want to select anything just what I will do I will select is the HTTPS required a uh, no uh, I don't have the PKI certificate if you have the PKI certificate for the client you can select the HTTPS okay so let me go with the HTTP I will show you uh, how we can work with the PKI certificate also in the coming video so click on next so in this scenario it will not take the PKI certificate it will take the self assigned certificate okay so here is a now distribution point here is a man important point primary content library location if you have the d drive e drive f drive so you can um, use the drive and uh, in the drive or uh, that content library folder will be creating okay i have only the c drive i can select here c or i can select the automatic so both are same for me because i have only the one drive there 
now click on next <clears throat> Okay, let me click on next. I don't want to pull the full distribution point. Enable the Pixie support client. So Windows deployment services will be installed if required. Okay, so if you want to enable the Pixie role, I will tell you one thing like in SSEM 2007, the Pixie role was the separately role, but now they have added merge with the distribution point setting. If you want to enable the Pixie role, you can select it here. Okay, but as of now, I am not selecting uh, when I will be creating a video how we can deploy the operating system. I will show you that option. Even though this option you can enable, enable it later also after install the DP. Click on next. And uh, here is a enable the multicast simulations and the data for the multiple client. Okay, so uh, the WDS role will be installed for this option so multicast as of now i don't want where we'll use the multicast or how it will work we'll show you in that coming video okay so content validation content validation is something like uh, where your all the contents are available in dp it will validate again and if you want to schedule it to validate your all the content whatever on the distribution you can set up it here by selecting this and you can select at what time your content will be validating uh, on particular this TP. Okay, I don't want to use to validate for that content. Click on next. Here is a boundary group. So still I have not created any boundary or boundary group, any discovery. Still I am creating the labs to show you how we can create lab. And uh, the um, in my other video I will show you the one by one how we can create the boundary, boundary groups, and what is used, how we can work on this boundaries. Okay, guys. So let me click on next and let me click on next now this progress is going on and uh, in background the dp will installed and we can see in it our uh, i can close here and we can see in with the logs so let me go to the monitoring and here uh, the distribution point will be adding so this is the distribution point is already added let me check the logs So here logs will be generating and uh, we can go to the server where I put it the my DP. Let me log in. So it was the MP log. Let me see. Uh, so guys you can see in the content library is created what I was showing you in that screen um, where we were selected um, our option is uh, content library which drive it will go so we selected automatically because I have only the C drive so if we have D drive E drive we can give up we can give the path for the content library and this folder is using for where we can keep our the all the packages SMS underscore DP packages folder okay so all the folders are created here and even you can check the logs file also some error is there but uh, we will connect uh, we will correct it because it's showing like a uh, pxe role is not enabled and because uh, we have not selected that uh, pixie role okay so if we selected this error will not be showing here okay so register successfully and what else we can check now my dp is installed successfully or if you want to validate something more you can you can check it out in that dp status so this is my the dp status here it's showing the green that means it's working fine okay okay guys so my dp also installed on this server and uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, my lab is almost done so after the coming my videos i will show you how we can work in the ssem 
okay guys so keep watching my videos and i will show you the each and every option what is available in ssem console how we can install client or the other things so please continue watching these videos thank you so much